こんにちは、ゆうこ先生です。This is a lesson that I have prepared for my classes at the college that I'm teaching at. We use the textbook, Genki, Volume 1 in our classes, and then this lesson is from Lesson 2. If you are studying Japanese by yourself and are interested in purchasing this textbook on Amazon, Please go through the link that I have in the description below and support this channel without costing you anything. If you need my support to learn Japanese, please consider joining my online courses. My online courses are self paced and there is no time limit to complete each course. You can learn Japanese at your own pace in your spare time with my support. I'll always be there to answer your questions. You can find all the information about my Japanese courses in the description box below. Okay, let's begin the lesson. では始めましょう。Back in lesson 8, we learned how to use 思います to quote what you think. So far, you learned this indirect quote in Japanese only for the non-past tense. Meaning the future and the present tense. In this lesson, lesson 9, we are going to use 思います again, but this time it's going to be for the past tense. Here's a quick review of how to use 思います with a known past verb. When you say I think that and quote what you think, you have to use the plain form of the verb in the quotation. You mark the plain verb with the quotation particle to and add 思います after that. 思います means I think and you do the same for all the verb groups. Mark the plain form of the verb with the particle to and then say 思います at the end of the sentence. Let me show you one example. If I want to use this negative verb, don't eat, 食べない in my quotation, I can say something like this. Honda さんは肉を食べないと思います。Honda さんは肉を食べないと思います。I think that Honda さん doesn't eat meat. In English, This is the quotation part, right? Honda san doesn't eat meat, which comes at the very end of the sentence. In Japanese, it's here. It comes at the beginning of the sentence. If this part, Honda san doesn't eat meat, was an independent sentence and not a quotation, it's going to be like this. Honda さんは肉を食べません。Honda さんは肉を食べません。But the verb 食べません has to be converted into the plain form in the quotation and marked by the particle と。So that's what you have learned back in lesson 8 and now We are going to do the same thing by using plain past form. If you want to quote what you think about the past, now you have to use these plain past verbs like this. The formation is the same. You still use the quotation particle to and 思います The only difference is that you now use plain past forms. So, for instance, if you want to say, I think that my mother didn't eat breakfast this morning, it's going to be like this. 母は今朝朝ごはんを食べなかったと思います。母は今朝朝ごはんを食べなかったと思います。So that's what we are going to practice today in this lesson. How to quote what you think about the past. Okay, first of all, 
Let's learn this key question in Japanese. What do you think? どう思いますかどう思いますか The literal meaning of do is how in Japanese. So we ask how do you think, meaning what do you think? Here's a question for you about Mary さん。Mary さんについて。See if you can answer the question by using I think. Okay? Mary さんは高校の時よく勉強しましたかどう思いますかメアリーさんは高校の時よく勉強しましたかどう思いますか ?Did Mary study often or well when she was in high school?What do you think?If you think she did, you have to go like this. はい、よく勉強したと思います。はい、よく勉強したと思います。Here you have to convert しました into the plain form, which is した。If you think she didn't, then you have to say いいえ、勉強しなかったと思います。いいえ、勉強しなかったと思います。You can also add the negative version of よく、which is あまり to the response and go like this. いいえ、あまり勉強しなかったと思います。Here's another question. メアリーさんは高校の時人気がありましたかメアリーさんは高校の時人気がありましたか人気がある means is popular. Here it's in the past tense, so this means was popular. Was メアリーさん popular when she was in high school? That's what the question is asking you. What do you think? どう思いますか If you think she was, then you have to say, はい、あったと思います。はい、あったと思います。This is good enough as a response. You don't need to repeat 人気が because it's understood in the context. But if you want to repeat 人気が in your response, it's okay to do so. We just have the tendency not to repeat something that is clear or understood in the context, especially in spoken language. But it's not wrong to include extra information. And if you think she wasn't popular, then you say, いいえ、なかったと思います。いいえ、なかったと思います。Again, 人気が is optional. If you want, you can add degree expressions to your response too. Yes, I think she was extremely popular. はい、すごくあったと思います。はい、すごくあったと思います。No, I think she wasn't very popular. いいえ、あまりなかったと思います。いいえ、あまりなかったと思います。Now let's move on to quotation with adjectives and then nouns. So these are plain past forms, was and was not. For e adjectives, n adjectives, and nouns, right? The formation of a quotation is the same as when we use the verbs. You use the plain form of the adjectives or nouns, 
mark it with the quotation particle to and say omoimasu at the end. Let's practice. Mary さんは高校の時背が高かったですかどう思いますかメアリーさんは高校の時背が高かったですかどう思いますか ?Now you have the e adjective tall here in the past tense.If you think she was tall when she was in high school, you have to say, はい、高かったと思います。はい、高かったと思います。Again, you can repeat Sega in your response if you want, but it's not necessary. If you think she wasn't tall when she was in high school, then you say, Ie, taka, ku, nakata, to, omoimas. Ie, taka, ku, nakata, to, omoimas. And if you want, You can add the degree expressions like this too. What about this? メアリーさんは高校の時、日本語が上手でしたかどう思いますかメアリーさんは高校の時、日本語が上手でしたかどう思いますか Now you have 上手 which is an adjective meaning skilled or good at. If you think she was good at Japanese when she was in high school, you say, はい、上手だったと思います。はい、上手だったと思います。If you think she wasn't good at Japanese, then you say, いいえ、上手じゃなかったと思います。いいえ、上手じゃなかったと思います。And if you want, you can also add すごく or あまり to your response like this.Okay, one more version, which is when you have a noun in the quotation. As we learned, the plain conjugation for nouns is the same as an adjectives. So you can replace this an adjective to a noun like this and create a completely different question. Mary さんは高校の時いい学生でしたかどう思いますか ?Was Mary さん a good student when she was in high school?What do you think?If you think she was, you say, はい、いい学生だったと思います。Or, はい、すごくいい学生だったと思います。If you think she wasn't, then you say, いいえ、いい学生じゃなかったと思います。Or, いいえ、あまりいい学生じゃなかったと思います。Now you can quote what you think about the past by using e adjectives, n adjectives, nouns, And verbs. Okay, let's try one translation exercise from Workbook 84 page. This is the one. I think Tadashi's father was good looking when he was young. So this part is the quotation, right? Tadashi's father was good looking when he was young. And it has the e adjective 
good looking in the past tense, which you have to say in plain form. So, in Japanese translation, it's going to look like this. Let's do this together. Tadashi's father. Tadashi san no oto san wa. When he was young, wakai toki was good looking. Kakko yo katta to omoimasu. Tadashi san no oto san wa wakai toki. かっこよかったと思います。ただしさんのお父さんは若い時かっこよかったと思います。I hope you enjoyed the lesson.If you liked my lesson and are interested in my online courses, you can check them on my website, smilenihongo.com slash class. ではまた次のレッスンで会いましょう。